Hey everyone, it's Al with CAD Cam Wizard, and today we're going to talk about the Bobcat Cam version 36 drawing environment. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So, to begin with, let's say you want to change the color of your drawing environment, the background color, right? How do we do that? Well, any of the environmental settings is done under the settings tab. So, we're going to come up towards the top here and we'll hover over. I know it's a small icon, but it's uh, one, two, three, four, fifth one over, it looks like a, a window with a gear on it. We'll click on this icon, and this is where all of your environmental settings are. Okay, Th there isn't too much we really need to get into here other than going to the current document. Uh, this is places where you can set the units of the, the file, but we want to go to display. Okay, and in the display in, uh, tab here, we can adjust the background color. Okay, so you can see the color options. These are all the different uh, things in which you can adjust the color. We're just going to focus on background. So we'll go to background. Over here, this is the color palette. We're going to want to change that from white to gray. Once we've done that, we can hit apply. Now, if you want to use gray on all of your future documents, what you want to do is come over to apply to defaults. And then what that will do is default your background color to gray. We're going to go ahead and click on that, uh, click OK, and now we can see we have a gray background. Now, in order to zoom in and zoom out and pan in the CAD environment, uh, what we're going to do is just use our mouse wheel. Our mouse wheel will let us zoom in and out. Uh, wherever the mouse wheel is pointing, it will zoom in and out to that location. If we hit Control on our keyboard and press the mouse wheel down, that gives us a pan, and if we hit control and draw a window, that will do a window view. Okay, you also have uh, your pan, uh, rotate, window, and view all icons right here, so that that's really handy. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is the menus that are on the screen. So on the left side, we have our data entry. Anytime we're answering questions, we'll fill them in there. So if we were going to create a 2D arc, uh, the data entry window will populate with all of the question and answers that you need to fill out. Okay. Uh, the next one here, if we look down here at the bottom, we have some tabs. So you have the data entry, you have the CAD tree. The CAD tree is when you're doing solid modeling or some other CAD features. It'll, it'll have a history of what those settings were, so you can go back and edit them later. You have the CAM tree. This is where we do all of our machining, which we'll get into that in a later video. Bob Art, Bob Art's an add-on to convert images and do vectorization and emboss modeling. And then we have our operations tab. Uh, once we've uh, developed a, a bunch of machining routines, it's gonna list out all the operations and the tools that are involved. So that's the, the left side of the screen here. Now on the right side of the screen, we have our save selections. Uh, if, you ha if you're if you working with a part that has a bunch of different geometry features, you can save your selections ahead of time. You have your measure entity. Uh, this is when you're inspecting geometry. All the measurements will be populated within this window. And then below that, let me move this toolbar up, we have our layers menu. Layers allows you to organize your geometry. We have posting. This will give you a preview of your code when you post your code. And then you have your user coordinate systems. These are the different drawing planes in which you can work on. Now, some other options we want to be aware of down here. Uh, this will tell you what units the drawing is in. This is your active line style uh, when you're drawing lines or arcs. Uh, this is your active color when you're drawing geometry, which color you're drawing with. This option here, this is your snap grid. So. Uh, it will put points in the background that you can snap to when you're drawing lines and arcs. You can turn that off and then you're in full sketch mode. Uh, this one here, use construction geometry and XY tracking. If you're not really drawing in the Bobcat environment, uh, you won't be utilizing these. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and stop with stop there. Now across the top of the screen, we have some tabs. So we have the file tab, the home tab, create 2D, create 3D, utilities, evaluate, and CAM. So those are your tabs. 
The ones that you're going to use the most is going to be utilities. Utilities is where all your editing is done. So if you need to move, uh, which we call translate, move, uh, uh, rotate, mirror, scale, trim, extend, any of the editing type functions, you'll find them there. Create 2D is going to be where you'll find your point, line, and arc, rectangle, uh, and other shapes that you can draw with, like offsets or fillets. And uh, those are primarily going to be the drawing features you'll utilize. Now there's one other section that I want to get into, which is file. In here you'll see this user profile, and then they have a, a few different layouts. So the one that I prefer is the After Dark layout from the Bobcat After Dark video series. Uh, but you can switch to the Bobcat Classic, a CAD layout, or a CAM layout. And all that does is change where these toolbars are located in the drawing environment. Uh, to pick one, you just choose the one that you want, and then you click here, which is Apply Selected Layout, and then that will apply that layout to the CAD environment. All right, that's just a quick video about the CAD environment of the Bobcat Cam version 36. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, just reply back to wherever this video may be posted in. Uh, next one up, we have File Import and Editing.